Howdy folks. You know, back in 2020, when we realized that we were not going to have a typical Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua season, we started recording little snippets of performances of music, interviews, storytelling, uh, going back into the archives and digging out some video of uh, performances from years gone by. We put them all together in what we called Tiny Tent Shows. We did over 40 Tiny Tent Shows. And what you're about to see now is a rebroadcast, an encore airing, if you will, of a previously recorded Tiny Tent Show. Thank you so much for supporting us, and we look forward to seeing you back beneath the canvas. Howdy folks, welcome to Tiny Tent Show, episode number 43, featuring the Leo Kotke style finger picking of Madeline Island's own Rick Gilman, and the masterful songwriting, performance, and poetry of Warren Nelson. Both are accompanied in this episode by the Blue Canvas Orchestra's very own Ed Willett. We are so grateful to you for tuning in say it every week, mean it every week. But we thank you for your support, past, present, and future. The Big Top always welcomes your donations, whether in the Donate Now section of the comments. Oh, there should be a button there right now or a link. Um, or you can contact the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua crew directly through www.bigtop.org. Also, keep in mind, we have the gala coming up on Valentine's Day, and we're looking for some, some silent auction items for the gala, if you have those to provide. To the music now. Warren Nelson's spirit is woven through the DNA of the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. His gifts and original vision are, well, they're the center pole of a canvas dream, really. It's fair to say that the Big Top would not exist today if not for his talent, his dreams, and his showmanship. In his performance this week, he draws a, a, a selection of tunes from his song hat, which I am reliably informed contains over 500 originals to choose from. Not 500 songs, 500 original songs. As a guy who's written about 12, <laughs> that's astounding. So, from his shows Riding the Wind and Song for the Wild and some other unexpected places comes a set, um, and also a tribute to Mary Rice, a set of music with some poetry from Warren Nelson. Well, hello everybody and welcome to this stage, something I haven't seen in a long time. I've been in this business 54 years and never got so long without a gig, but I'm so glad to be here with my friend Ed Willett, who moved up from Milwaukee in... Yeah, around there. Beaver Dam area. 1992? Four. 1994, anyway. Yeah. I got a call from one Ed Willett um, one day saying, uh, we're going to be playing on Madeline Island in a classroom. Yeah. I'll be playing with my partner Cheryl Leah and I said, okay. I play cello and she sings and uh, so I drove over the ice road, that's County H, after this called the County Road. <laughs> Went in there not I have any idea what's happening and I remember seeing Ed warming up and I'm ready, I'm going. Okay. And Cheryl was playing one of those keyboard things. Yeah, melodica. Melodica. Yeah, yeah. Well, that makes a long story short, because now Ed Ben Willis here at the Big Top and up north for, aren't we lucky, a long, long time. All right, here's a song first written for a show called Dance of the Seasons in 1984, and then it got put in the Take It to the Lake, the first show I put together for the Big Top in 1986. <laughs> Turn the collar of a fox's coat 
Easy in the breeze, the leaves go float When the birch burn yellow and the maple red And the apples are ripe up overhead When the fall is falling all around Get your wood up, quick water coming to town The way the Indian summer lays on the bay This fine October day Ah, blue on the big lake, blue in the sky Blue down the river of the time gone by Green come the summer to a golden end Yellow with the eye over earth, my friend September winds are a sailor's charm The new moon's up in the old moon's arms Up the little river go the trout to spawn You can see your breath rise in the dawn Come early frost, the summer people go Back to our old selves, broke and slow It's a harvest moon we dance around When the garden's in the jar Oh, blue on the big lake, blue in the sky, blue down the river of the time going by. Green come a summer to a golden end, yellow with the eye. Over earth, my friend, come gray November, the month of gale. Superior sings her shipwreck tales in the waves that beat and pound the shore. Light your home fire now and close the door. When the geese are honking high in a V, and the boats rips are naked as a popple tree by Thanksgiving Day and the herring run. Done with all you started. Oh, oh, blue on the big lake, blue in the sky, blue down the river, time gone by. Green come a summer to a golden end, yellow with the eye over earth, my friend. Final song in the show, song for the wild, and I think it's the my favorite one of all the of songs and the lyrics it's, that I put together with Sigurd Olson. It's called "The Singing Wilderness." Sunsets and nights under the stars. Wilderness is real. This we know. Pressure becomes more we can stand. Go where the roads and the towns are forgotten. We'll find release. We'll find release. The singing wilderness. You will find.
first time in history, America is faced with the chance of losing the few remaining bits of wilderness left. We need to give people a chance to experience the universal power that science can never explain. Moments of truth when everything stands clear. Might not be able to explain, but your questions will kindle. Light in the eyes reflected in the campfires that have known the glory of the dawn. We'll find release, we'll find release. In the singing wilderness, you will find open our hearts and our minds to the cosmic purpose it may come. Life is suddenly illuminated and beautiful. We are filled with awe and a deep happiness. The music can be heard in the soft open fire. Singing wilderness has to do with the calling of the loons. Northern lights the great silences, the winds of March in the chorus of coyotes, and the last mallard flying south for the winter. Find release, people find release in the singing wilderness. You will find release. Find Sunsets and nights under the stars. Wilderness is real. This we know. The pressure becomes more we can stand. Go where the roads and the towns are forgotten. Find release, find release. In the singing wilderness, you will find was one of the great environmentalists and uh, land protectors of the 20th century. And I knew his books for a long, long time. I finally started to read a couple. Nice. In 2000, Kim Bro, who was then executive director of the Sigurd Olson Institute, took me up to Listening Point, Six Cabin in Ely on Burnside Lake and stayed overnight, sat in his chair. And we dreamt about doing the show, but then it wasn't for good grief. 16 years that I finally got to it. And the show is called Song for the Wild. And what I did is I used all of Sigurd's words as lyrics. And then I put music under them. And between the songs, we did readings from his book. So we're the famous songwriting team, Olson and Nelson. You probably heard of us. I've definitely heard of you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the lyrics because they're just fabulous. He, 
He's so lyrical in his prose that they just bend themselves into song. So here we go. This one's called This Is Home. One, two, three. Greatest achievement of our flight to the moon is the picture of the Earth, a living green blue planet whirling in the dark, endless void of space. The divine spark is within us all, the great silences are beyond ordinary sounds, life in the wilderness can be communion with God and timelessness and mystery. This is home, 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 this is home. I once climbed a great ridge called Robinson's Peak to watch the sunset to look over the lakes and rivers below and I watched and I listened to the slow steady hum of millions of insects and the calling of the white throats and the violin notes of thrushes over all a sense of oneness which comes when we listen with our inward ears with our inward ears This is home, yeah, this is home, this is home, this is This is home, yeah, this is home, this is home, this is home. Well, harmony is the music of awareness in the deep pool of racial consciousness. We all have a streak of the primitive set deep within us. I released a book of poetry entitled To Praise This Amazing Air, all the poems since 1970 that I wanted to save. And I'd like to read one of them for you now called River Rhapsody. Oh, my shining Lord who has painted me, after the wet hands, the flesh and clay formed the body. And the finger blades of the maker cut the four lines in, inventing toes. Oh, my shining Lord, this shower that begins in the head and pours down the arcs of the body. A long fall at the shoulders, the round two river legs, 
a vessel of blood poured over the stones of the body and the wet creatures that live in me. Octopus heart, the fishy liver, wormy intestines, snaky muscles, and the pearls inside the hard-shelled knees. Oh, my shining Lord, all I have to do this morning is sit up, drink the tea of the window, read the dawn, and all this laughter goes rolling. teachings by the sea a wave at the sunrise who just smiled back at me we pray to God the father where can the mother be the secrets are showing in this green earth I just jumped out my window to watch the morning melt the snow bird song flies in one ear as the wind goes up my nose I breathe out and I'm breathing and I look up to the sky I spend all the gold new morning trying to focus my third eye why do anything else it's so easy it's not so easy When the shadows corner you No, they're only moving through The light that shines all night Will soon find you I stood among the stones I felt all my life rushing Over these my lonely bones Face the four directions Over your shoulder go Live easy in the breezes Of the things you'll never know We are standing in the shallows we are pointing to the deep We are sitting halfway up the hill Crying it's so steep Death is not all teeth It is a gentle voice and kind Sing and rock your flesh to sleep The way you leave the world behind Oh, why do anything else so easy it's not so easy when the shadows corner you know they're only moving through the light that shines all night will soon find you First of all, I want to thank you for listening and and tuning in and thank my great partner, Ed Willett. And our last song is entitled Riding the Wind, which is the title song from the show Riding the Wind, the show that bought the tent. Benny and I started researching in 1985, and it debuted in that summer in the Bayfield Gymnasium. And I want to dedicate this to the memory of the most wonderful, one of the most wonderful people I've ever known, Mary Rice, who passed away about a month ago in Bayfield. And if it wasn't for Mary Rice and her family, Bill and Betty Hewlings, there would be no tent show standing on the hill. And uh, I, I know I've told this story before, but she said, Warren, come on up, and because uh, my parents want to build you a theater. 
And I said, no, okay. Then I got to thinking, I'm, you know, I've always wanted a tent show my whole life since, since uh, I started following my dad around in county fairs and right. got the whiff of the carny and stuff. So I went to Mary's house and sat on the couch, and she said, well, what do you think? I said, I want a tent show, Mary. He said, okay. So she bought us, she bought me a tent, and that's when the dream started, 1986. All right, here we go. Of the working air, sailing on the tall water, oh, sailing over the tall water. We'll go into Maggie's once a week, come ashore. They're going to come back down to work, but not a way before. Take me to the island, oh, out around the Pasol Island. Let's go sailing it. Trouble on your main then now take, take me, me to, to the island. island. Say it with me. Where we are. Warren Nelson, with a musical history lesson and a tribute, as Warren would say, Ballyhoo. We shift gears now to Rick Gilman, a man who has been musically intertwined with various members of the Blue Canvas Orchestra over the years and associated with the Big Top as well. His first tent show collaboration was in his duo with band leader Don Pavel in a, in a little group they called Nothing To It. 
I, I love that name because if, if you hear a musician say nothing to it, it probably means you just saw something pretty amazing. Um, and actually, Rick, in this performance, will tell the story of how he and Don came to meet and, and, and specifically how they came up with that name for their duo. Years later, and also with Don Pavel, he started another big top spinoff group with the Great Lakes Boys, and that was a quartet that included BCO bassist Cal Altman and cellist Ed Willett, who is joining him tonight in, in the performance you're about to see. In more recent years, he has toured with his duo Barefoot Wonder with the late, great, we have so many wonderful memories of, of this man, the late, great Bruce Bowers. His set with Ed tonight will include tunes he's performed and written with each of these memorable groups. back I had a gig a place called Council Hills and it's an old uh, uh, depot train depot that staged the uh, uh, Union troops during the Civil War and prior to that it was Chief Blackhawk's area where he gathered with his people wow. and we were down there to do a gig and it was it was a matinee it was five minutes to two and there was nobody there except the sound man myself and the guy who owned the place and Bruce was with me and so I asked that Jamie was the owner I asked him is this gonna work he said yeah just go get yourself a beer don't worry about it 
So I went in to the cooler, came out with a beer, and the place was packed. Ah, it just everybody came within, late. Yeah, within minutes. They all lived within five minutes of there. Yeah, they weren't going to waste time. <laughs> yeah, why should I sit around so, at a blank stage? So we played a show. It was great. The people there were great. It was real interactive. It was a, a small place, but, you know, mm -hmm. very friendly atmosphere. And afterwards, everybody left except the owner and I were hanging around, and I asked him about the place. And he took me on a history tour of the mm -hmm. place, and he took me to Council Hill, where Blackhawks people would uh, gather and talk politics and survival mm -hmm. and harvest. Mm -hmm. And it dawned on me right there that the place had not changed, because that's what we were just doing. We were talking uh, politics, harvest, arguing, laughing, yeah, and yeah. celebrating. Yeah. And to top it off, Jamie, being a wonderful man, realized I was driving a PT Cruiser. And he told me, you cannot leave until I get back. And he disappeared into Council Hill Station. And I waited and waited. And after about a half hour, 45 minutes, he came out. And in his hand, still in the wrapper, was a headlamp for a PT Cruiser. <laughs> and he said, I just don't want you to leave without this. You never know when you might need it. And that's really what this song is about. So that whole gifts continued energy gifts. that we, we nice. share. So. A horse from Madrid. I need not say any more. That's it.
Ed, you know, I met Don years ago. Uh, this is another Pavel piece, which yeah, which yeah. I really like, and we've played it before. But I met Don years ago and admired his guitar work. Yeah, where and, was that? Where uh, the first time I saw him was at the Broke Down Palace in ah, Washburn. Ah, the Broke Down. Yeah, and uh, I found out that Don admired my guitar work right. as well as my admiring his, but we had never really talked about it. Yeah. And so one day I got this bright idea. I was getting hired for a gig, and I called Don out of the blue and said, you want to join me? I'll give you half of what I make. Yeah. And he said, sure. So we played for the Madeline Island Ferry Company party. Oh, cool. And we had never played together before that, that day. And so <laughs> it found, we found out that there was something to be had there. There yeah, was yeah. some music going on. Eventually, we found out it wasn't enough. That's when we invited you into the mix. <laughs> uh, and then it was um, too much. No, it was, <laughs> you know, I, I said to Don I'd, I'd pay him half. So the ferry line paid me 400 bucks. Don got his 50. He was happy. <laughs> <laughs> and we decided, actually that night, um, I threw a tune out in my head. I didn't know the name of it. And said, "Can you think we could do this? He said, sure, well, let's do it. So I did it. And I thought, God, Don's so good. I just throw this at him, and he's playing it. And I said, you know, I wish I knew the name of it. He goes, ah, it's nothing to it. And I went, see, he's so good. He's just, it's, there's nothing to it. That was the name of the song that he'd been playing for 25 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you guys, you named your... Yeah, that's, that was, we yeah. named our act Nothing To nothing It to because it. of that. I didn't know that. So. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is uh, Give Thanks. All right. First of all, I want to thank uh, Big Top for letting me come on stage, and I really want to thank you, Ed, for joining me on this. It's uh, some old times for me, and hope yeah. for you. Yeah. Pleasant memories. So here's a Don Pavel tune, Field of Pete.
Rick Gilman, backed by Ed Willett. Beautiful, beautiful music. Just truly lovely. That's one of the things about these tiny tent shows. We maybe don't have all the lighting and maybe we're not all together in the tent, but just to be able to see these folks sit in a simple chair and just do what they do without adornment. Sometimes that's the most touching and moving format in which to see them. Well, folks, that is our Tiny Tent Show for tonight. We thank you for tuning in, and we thank our sponsors, Jim and Joy Perry, Mary Lou and Pat Irvine, Northern State Bank, Edward Jones, Cole F. Nichols, ACPA. Thank you again, and uh, another reminder, please see the Donate Now button in the comment section or go to www.bigtop.org and contact someone at the organization directly to make a donation until we can sell tickets to the real deal this is this is what we're doing and uh, we miss you but we're going to see this through don't forget that uh, gala on valentine's day and uh, in the meantime i would say that uh, i hope you're hanging in there i hope you're taking care of your neighbors and even more so i hope they're taking care of you but really the time has come i think not so much to say goodbye or, or to bid you adieu, but rather to say, well, I suppose. Kind of took it right off the rails with that one. Forward. Forward.